Hello everyone. Uh, I am Noshin and I am representing Netsol Water Solutions. Today I have visited Greater Noida. This is Chidi Goenka School, and uh, we at Netsol Water Solutions we have installed STP hair sewage treatment plant. As you can clearly see, we have also put some uh, boards over here that clearly shows the. Process flow diagram uh, for this 25 kld sewage treatment plant. It, it clearly shows that first the raw sewage from the school it enters the inlet sewage, which later goes on to the equalization tank, then oxic tank, MBBR tank. That is the secondary treatment process. Also, uh, the blower for oxidation purposes. You can clearly see what, how this. Treatment plant works over here. The excess sewage also goes into the for slime drying bed, sludge drying bed process. Further, I'll explain it further with the help of uh, Mr. Uh, I'll also discuss in detail the working of a plant with the help of Mr. Rajesh over here. Uh, also, we can see that uh, we uh, all the equipment equipments or uh, we manufactured the, the Netsol manufactured these equipments and uh, how are these operated? These are operated uh, by the guy named uh, Rajesh or Hair. So let us see the working, the installation of this sewage treatment plant, and which we'll discuss further in detail. Uh, so uh, this is Mr. Rajesh who will discuss, describe all the functions of the tanks over here and where from the sewage water comes from. Uh, so Mr. Rajesh, you tell us about the sewage treatment plant. Here is the water from this tank. Okay. Then here is the tank. The tank is the tank. Yes, so this is our sewer line. Yes, yes. इसमें सब मोटर डाला हुआ है एक दो उसको यहाँ से ऑन करना पड़ेगा हमें जी यहाँ से ऑन होगा ठीक है ठीक है तो हमारा ऐसे इसमें जाएगा ठीक है हमारा प्रोसेस स्टार्ट हो जाएगा सीवर से ये सीधा एमबीबीआर एनॉक्सिक टैंक में जाएगा ठीक है फिर उसके बाद उनका क्या फंक्शन है उन टैंक्स का ठीक है एक बार देखते हैं तो हमारे तो we can see that the sewer water this is a sewer line over here this white one and the sewer water comes from the sewerage system to the anoxic tank over here हाँ जी we'll I'll show you the anoxic tank फिर आएगा इस में आएगा so you can see the tank over here फिर उसके बाद जो है यहाँ जाकर इसमें जाएगा नहीं then uh, from the anoxic tank, it uh, it it moves into the MBBR tanks for the secondary treatment. Basically, sewage is all about sewage treatment is all about the primary, secondary, and tertiary processes. The primary processes uh, generally we require here is the secondary process, primary for sedimentation because we have to like filter out the screening and all such processes. The sedimentation, suspended solids from all there. And in the secondary, we filter out the biodegradable or dissolved gases and decrease the BOD level more. So further, फिर उसके बाद ये हमारा नीचे से इसमें आएगा पानी जी जी तो ये कौन सी टैंक है क्लोरीन टैंक so it can be तो इसमें क्लोरीन ऐड किया जाता है तो it can be treated as a tertiary process in which the chlorine is added for disinfection purpose. After the disinfection with chlorine, the water comes out from our head, the waste water, uh, this line, and then it goes into the activated carbon filter and multigrain filter, basically for filtration purposes, to remove more bacteria, virus, and whatever we have left uh, for the uh, uh, reuse purpose. After uh, it uh, it is filtered, the water is filtered. It goes into the storage. It goes into the storage tank. So, ये जो stored water है, ये आप किसलिए use करते हैं? पौधों के लिए. तो what uh, what actually our purpose is? The purpose is to save water. Whatever basically Netsol is based on water saving. So this sewage water it is treated with the use of this STP plant. 
and all the treated water it is used for agriculture purpose over here so uh, indirectly we are saving fresh water and reusing waste water uh, for agricultural purposes or for uh, watering plants ओके तो क्लॉगिंग से रोकने के लिए यहाँ से हम वाटर से वॉश करते हैं सब कुछ ओके हाँ इस यही इनका मेन फंक्शन है इससे फिल्ट्रेशन होती है और क्लॉगिंग से रोकता है ओके थैंक यू मिस्टर राजेश Also, we can see the air blowers over here. You can see this is air blower one and this is air blower two. This is basically for uh, providing oxidation to the anoxic tanks or in the primary and sediment uh, secondary treatment, and that is maintained from this board. This is the electrical panel. as mr rajesh has already discussed uh, about these i want to tell you the uses of these tanks or the basic functions of these tanks so basically equalization that is located over here that is under my feet so uh, basically it acts as a buffer to collect the raw incoming sewage that is fluctuating and then it passes to the rest of this stp uh, the tank is rectangular in shape and it provides placement of air diffusers for full coverage then we can show you that there is the anoxic tank you can see that there is anoxic tank over there uh, these are designed to suspend solids which include waste sludge and they provide complete basin control they promote bacterial breakdown of nitrate so that denitrification occurs Uh, then from the anoxic tank the waste water travels to mbbr tanks mbbr as in uh, this is a secondary process secondary treatment and uh, it means mu moving bed biofilm reactor it is a biological technology that is uh, it is a biological technology that is used for waste water treatment process the technology is used to separate organic substances it contains aeration tank with plastic carriers that provide a surface where a biofilm can grow and you can see over here these air blowers these are generally used for aeration to fill, fulfill oxidation demands and the uh, filters over there they are used for filtration purposes to remove rest of the bacteria virus or whatever contaminants the waste water has uh, after all these processes the water is stored in the treated water tank that is a black tank over there and uh, which is used for the watering purposes over here so basically the treated water it is saving the fresh water this is the whole purpose of any treatment plant from net sol uh, because we believe in uh, saving water and con uh, conserving fresh water resources uh, will further connect you in some another video another time thank you so much for viewing